We can apply Bernoulli's equation with a nozzle to find out how fast water will come out of a nozzle from our typical garden hose. So we've connected our hose to the wall, to the faucet on the wall, and it snakes across the backyard to a nozzle where the water is going to come out. We've got a supply pressure of around 300 kilopascals from the municipal water supply. If we zoom in on this region here and ignore the losses in the hose for a while, we'll see that we'll have a fairly small velocity inside the hose, but where this nozzle narrows down in order to conserve mass going through this smaller area here, it has to speed up a lot. So the velocity will be much higher at location two. We'd like to know what the velocity will be at location two based on the input pressure. So we'll start by writing Bernoulli's equation. We can write it here because it's going along a streamline. This particle is going to follow a streamline in this direction along and eventually get to point two. So energy should be conserved along that path if we ignore friction. So Z1 plus P1 over rho G plus V1 squared over 2G must be equal to Z2 plus P2 over rho G plus V2 squared over 2G. Now, if we assume that this hose is really large compared to the outlet diameter of the nozzle, we can say that V1 is going to be much smaller than V2, or at least certainly V1 squared is going to be much smaller than V2. So we'll start off by saying that V1 is approximately equal to zero. It isn't actually, but it's close. Likewise, if this nozzle is horizontal, the elevation doesn't change between location one and location two. So whatever Z1 is, Z2 is the same. P2, P2 is atmospheric, it's equal to zero. That's a gauge pressure relative to atmospheric, so we better make sure P1 is the gauge pressure. And when we talk about municipal water pressure supply, we're always talking about how much higher pressure than atmospheric pressure anyway. So this is a gauge pressure. So now we've got just P1 over rho G and V2 squared over 2G. The higher the pressure, the higher the velocity squared is going to be as we convert potential energy of pressure into kinetic energy of velocity through this nozzle. So rearranging, we'll get V2 squared equal to 2 times P1 over rho because the G's will cancel out. That'll be 2 times 300 kilopascals, that's 300 times 10 to the third, divided by density. Density of water at 20 degrees C is about 998 kilograms per cubic meter. So if we punch these in, the units are all consistent, we'll wind up with V2, after we take the square root, equal to 24.5 meters per second. So we looked at a typical garden hose, at a supply pressure of around 300 kilopascals, that's around 45 psi, about three atmospheres above atmospheric pressure. Not atypical for a municipal water supply. In this hose, it was going very slowly, but the pressure was still quite high. And this nozzle is a conversion device that converts that potential energy of pressure into kinetic energy of velocity. We were able to use Bernoulli's equation with some simplifying assumptions to figure out what V2 was going to be. And it's about 25 meters per second.